Hey everyone, I just read Del Toro Quest 2 The Shadowlands by Emily Rodder, and it was okay. All three parts of this series build up to the kind of epic fantasy fight you'd expect, but they're all still kids' books, so every single one of them ends up being kind of an anticlimax. It's a book about three unlikely heroes on a quest to restore the three pieces of the Pyrrhon Pipe so they can venture into the depths of the Shadowlands and free the enslaved people of Del Toro from the grip of the Shadowlands. Shadow Lord. The prose? There's a lot of great science fantasy horror in this book, such as how the Shadow Lord's army, the Grey Guards, are grown in a factory and just sort of melt down into sludge after a while, without actually dying, to say nothing of the secret conversion project. I really enjoyed the Resistance fighting against the Shadow Lord from within the Shadowlands. It adds a lot of depth to what has otherwise been treated as Mordor throughout the rest of the series, and it's really cool that a lot of the the named rebels are characters who have been mentioned to have been captured by the Shadow Lord in previous books, like Brienne, a previous winner of the Rhythmere Games from Book 4. And the conclusion to Jasmine's character arc in this book is tragic, especially given how much hope she's had for the past two novels. The cons? After all the build-up over the past ten books, the Shadowlands were kind of boring. There are some interesting elements, and I liked the return of the Owls, but it's just a generic fan fantasy wasteland outside of the factory, and it was definitely a bit of a letdown. Similarly, the climactic battle, while a little more intense than the one from Return to Dell, was a huge disappointment with how it ended, especially given it ends so quickly. And while it's nice to have the characters actually communicate at long last, it comes off as contrived thanks to everyone keeping secrets, even from the reader, when they're acting as a POV. I still quite like the book, but I think it's definitely the weakest of the free climaxes. I'd only recommend it if you're in the series for the long haul, and I'm giving The Shadowlands a B. What did you think of the book? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're there, why not leave a suggestion for what I should read next? I promise I'll get to it eventually. If you liked the review and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share the video around. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.